Hi guys, welcome to Challenge TV. I'm Master Coach Craig Harper. 11 weeks down, we are heading into the last week. It is an exciting time. And to get us off tonight is the very exciting Master Coach Janet Kane. Thanks Harps. Wow. We're only one week away, it's finally here, it's hard to believe and you've really, really done an amazing job. One thing that I want to talk to you about is how you can prepare for your final photo, because I'm sure that's crossing your mind. How am I going to get tan and hair and waxing and all of that sort of thing done? So that's right up my alley, I'm going to help you out with it. So in this final week there's a few things that you need to consider, such as waxing, tanning, a photographer, all your final photos, how we go about those and what's the best way for you to tackle them. When it comes to your tanning, it's not essential that you get a spray tan or tan done, but it is helpful and what it does do is it highlights your shape. So you don't have to, but it is a good idea. A couple of key do's and don'ts when you are getting a tan, go to someone that does do a professional tan. It is quite simple, but don't overthink it is all I would say. The other area is waxing. Guys, now's the time where I'm going to say toughen up. We women have been doing it for years, but if you are waxed, we're actually going to see your shape a whole lot better and just do it once. You'll be thrilled that you did. Yes, it'll hurt, but you'll get over it. You'll be fine. We always go back for more. Just a few key things. Don't do the wax the very day of your photo shoot. Do a wax a couple of days beforehand so your skin's got time to settle because you don't want any spots or inflammation. You can shave if you want to. You can do that one on the day. As I said, it's not necessary. It's not absolutely critical, but it will make a big difference for you and you'll be thrilled that you did. So guys, I just want to emphasise for you whilst it's not necessary that you do all the primping and priming and all of those details, this is your final shot and this is all, all your effort that you've put in now, you'll see it for years to come in those photos. So yes, it's not necessary, but it's actually how we see your whole journey. So it's really important that you do the very best you can with this photo. It's really for you. So you can look back and feel so much more sense of pride in seeing those photos. Again, it's a choice, but these are some of the tips to look out for when you are doing them so that you do do them right. Some people might actually get a professional photographer for their photos. And if you've got the funds to do that, great. You'll get a great shot done. But if that's not for you, you can still get some fantastic photos done by yourself. But remember to choose some great lighting. Also choose an outfit that resembles the one that you started with so we can see the best transformation. Get the very best camera, set up a timer app. Better still, get someone to take it for you. And it's okay to take a few and pick the best one that you can. You've got some time to do that. So spend some time getting the one that you're most happy with. But remember the time to get it all right is in this final week. So relax, follow it step by step in the gym, Plan out what you're going to do with your photos, your tanning, your waxing. Jump on the forum, there'll be lots of information as to what to do and where to go and the support there. Stick with it guys, have a great week. This is fun, it all happens from here. We'll get to see you next time at the end of the challenge. Thanks Janet, uh, great work as always. Well, as Janet mentioned, it's the last week. So you might think, I'm going to tell you, take your foot off the pedal, enjoy, just cruise towards the finish line, let your hair down. I'm not going to do any such thing. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you knuckle down kids. I'm going to tell you this is the time to keep your focus right to the very last minute and then beyond. But for the purpose of the challenge, I want you to stay completely focused. I want you to keep training hard. I want you to keep your head in the game. I want you to make sure those supplements and those meals and everything that you're doing, you are doing to the letter. You're doing everything that you can do to milk your potential, to maximize everything that you've got. So for every single one of those minutes of every one of those 84 days that you're doing what success demands. We speak about it all the time. So just go through your mental checklist. Am I training well? Is my food organized? Have I got my supplements sorted? Am I doing all the things? Just keep your head in the game because this last week, it actually can be surprisingly a little bit of a danger time for some people because they drop the ball and they might even go backwards a little bit in terms of their condition. I don't want that for you. Before I go, one of the things that Coach Janet spoke to you about was how to do the whole final photo thing and tan and hair and makeup and lighting and all those things. One thing that I, I want to encourage you to try to get your head around is to enjoy the process. Being stressed, being anxious will only make the process not fun. Enjoy it. So last week, one to go, make it a good one, maybe even make it your best one. See you next time.